Welcome one and all to my two minute review of Jewel of Bass by Lee Brackett, one of the screenwriters behind the Big Sleep adaptation and famous for her work on Empire Strikes Back, as well as her own Stark series, some of which is reviewed on this very channel. The story follows the bard Kieran and his diminutive girlfriend Mouse who are taking a shortcut between villages and are kidnapped by creatures called Cowls, previously monsters that straddled the line between myth and night terror. Our two leads join a caravan of slaves heading across the Forbidden Plains. After a couple of escape attempts, Kieran and Mouse sneak into the mountains of life behind the slave train. Inside, two androids are creating a giant machine. To this end, they're hypnotizing their workers to work until they drop down dead. Unfortunately, Mouse, even from their hiding place, is one of those hypnotized. A desperate Kieran climbs the outside of the mountain and enters the penthouse of the creator, Bass. He's a young boy of legend and received the Stone of Destiny and fled his home planet to set up a new world in his image. But depressed by the mess it's made, he has retreated into a dream world. Kieran's harp music, however, wakes him up and they race to stop the android's machine before they can enslave everyone on the planet. This short trades on cliches and tropes that Brackett would reuse. The trek across the forbidden plains and wizards living in mountains, etc. feels very similar to the Stark novel The Ginger Star. And the dialogue at times is also very on the nose. I keep thinking of the stories they used to tell about Bass the Immortal and his androids and the grey beasts that serve them and about the Stone of Destiny. With this list of cliches from page two, Mouse basically muses over every feature about to round out the plot of this novella, which at 52 pages total is probably a necessary backstory dump, so far more forgivable here than in a longer format. But at the same time, there's also some real magic. Kieran's voice is as true as a new blade, but soft. A lovely summation of his character, the dichotomy of his gentleness, his love for Mouse, and the violence he will perform later. While at the same time foreshadowing that the beauty of his verse will be the thing that cuts Bass away from his dream state. As the slaves prepare their escape attempt, Kieran observes the breathing of the word hope around the circle. And what is life without hope? When the planet's light source is flickering and feeble like an old man's heart, the last frightened wingbeats of a dying bird. Again, a really nice piece of imagery. It's a shame that these similar passages exist. The flickering was worse than the darkness. It was like the last struggling pulse of a dying man's heart. The stone of destiny throbbed like the breast of a dying bird. Because although the similar phraseology makes the causal link between the stone's power and the light's power failing, sometimes a turn of phrase like that is nice enough that it ought to be left to stand alone, the connection made in another way. Regardless, Brackett writes very nicely, indulging cliché only to fit the limitations of the format. I liked both Kieran and Mouse enough that when Mouse disappears from the narrative, she and their squabbling is missed. Of course, that helps us care about Kieran's motivation as well, so sometimes as a writer, you just have to take the focus away from where it's most fun. Bass was the one character I never really warmed to, particularly because he's not in it much. Again, the limitation of the format working against the narrative. And because his switch from reluctant whiner to all-powerful god putting things right was abrupt. The world building in a story this short, though hurried as shown by Mouse's info dump, is strong though, and you can see why Brackett would want to reuse aspects of it in later stories. Overall, The Jewel of Bass is recommended, and in two minutes. Thanks for watching. Buy my book, Sixth on Lovecraft, on eBay or on Amazon. Like and subscribe for more like this.